Oh, no. Shit. 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 So. There's no time to be standing around. We only have until dawn to investigate. I need to inspect every inch. Get as many clues as I can. I should go there next. If Kibo destroys the door like last time, I should be able to get in there. Uh, Sumugi? Shuichi! Huh, Shuichi, I finally found you! Huh? Sumugi, what's wrong? Um, um, I was checking Kaito's research lab up on the sixth floor, but... What is this? Kibo's attack demolished a wall of the school and caused a new room to appear. Uh, um... A new room? Yeah. And it's a really weird room, too. Anyway, come with me! Sumugi spoke almost encouragingly, then walked on ahead. Hmm. Weird room, huh? Can't ignore that. I suppose I have no choice. I'll go there later and head to the sixth floor right now. Now the question remains, how the hell do I get up to the sixth floor? Because I can't remember for the life of me. Uh. Uh. Okay, this kind of sucks that I can't check the map because I, for the life of me, can't remember where the hell it is. How the hell do I get to the sixth floor? Uh, well, guess time to go clear some debris. Okay. Well, I leveled up again. Uh, yeah, this way. Kind of sucks that I can't check my goddamn thingy. Well, I just have to keep on going. Okay. Oh my god, why can't I remember where the hell I'm supposed to go? Wait a minute. I think I know where I need to go. No, I don't have enough power to go through that yet. And I'm already at the halfway point, are you kidding me? Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, get through here. Uh, don't mind me, just kinda swinging all through. I must follow the rubble. That is my only option. Oh god! Leave it to me, everyone! Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, you're an asshole. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up. Gotta head as fast as I can! Wait, Monokuma! I see you! Gotcha! And keep going up, keep going up to freaking Kaido's Lab! Oh, holy shit! A new room. It must be that. Seems like... Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Okay. I'll try looking around. Let me in there! I went through the large hole in the wall and stepped into the next room. Cold sleep room. Uh, um... L this is... Hey! Right? This room's really weird, isn't it? I can't figure it out. Could it be? I suppose it's possible that... Uh, 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 another? What is it this time? Son of a bitch! Fuck!
What? Well then. Let's begin then. Wait! Hold on, I'm not mentally ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, robots probably won't need to mentally prep themselves the way humans do. Oh? Actually, do robots even need to be put in cold sleep? That's robophobic. I'm still a teenager, just like you all. I would feel lonely if I were the only one still awake. Like I thought. But is it really okay? This will be my first time in cold sleep, so I'm just plain nervous. <laughs> it's the same for all of us. Hey, finally I got to do the, that voice again. <laughs> but you know, it's a man's dream to leave Earth behind and travel across the stars. Ew. What a careless guy. I'm totally gonna, ha I'm gonna hate him this entire trip. Fucking moron! Ha! <laughs> Fucking idiots, more like it. What? Hey, who are you calling an idiot? Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, break it up. We gotta be friends here, so don't start fighting with each other. Oh. Hmm. Friends, you say? Yeah, that's right. Oh god, no, no, <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not a good word with him, okay? <laughs> that's right, we're friends from here on out. Uh, <sighs> even though you just met us and you don't even know what we're like. Because, well, the 16 of us are going to be here together from now on. Yeah. It might be hard, but let's try to take it one step at a time. We might fight at first, but we shouldn't forget about believing in each other. Yeah, that's right. We all went through such a difficult time, so I think we can all become good friends. Right? What do you say? Gonta agree! Gonta want to be friends with everyone! That is correct. After we wake up from code sleep, we'll have no choice but to live together. That's right. So we all better get along. <laughs> uh, we're already friends! Even Atua says that we're friends! Mm. Yeah, that sounds like a pain, but okay, I guess. Hey! Hey, what about you? Huh? Huh? M me. Uh, okay. G yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. I see. I'm glad. No matter how many times we fight, we smile in the end. That's what true friendship is. It'd be cool if we could be like that. All 16 of us. That's right. Yes, I agree. As long as we leave out the degenerate males out. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think us guys should be included too. Oh, right. Then let's do it. It'll probably be a couple of years before we all see each other again. But let's all work together and do our best. That's right. Yes, because we are humanity's last hope. All right. All right. Let's all get some shut-eye. I'll see you guys later. Huh. Uh. <laughs> I remember now. This room is... It can't be. This was... The room where we went into cold sleep. Then... Sumugi, you remember too? Okay. Then this is the room where we were put into cold sleep for the Gopher Project. It's where the 16 of us first met. But... But back then we all said we'd work together. We promised we'd become friends. <laughs> now we're killing each other. Why did it end up like this? That's... This is Monokuma's fault. Monokuma and the true mastermind controlling him. Um... That real mastermind hiding in this academy is making us do all of this, right? Right? Hey, Shuichi! Let's find them no matter what and end the killing game for good! Um... And then let's finally fulfill that promise we all made. There's a lot of us missing now, but it's not too late. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's look at the documents. There are some documents left on the table. A Gopher Project participants list. Um... Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. I found it when I was here earlier. Uh, um... Anything of particular note? Um, all our profiles are written here. Most of it is stuff we already know, but that's not the important part. It's about Kaede. Huh? Hmm? What? What about Kaede? Seems like... She has a twin. Huh? A twin? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like she has a younger twin sister. It said her sister was adopted by a relative and they barely had any contact, but uh, I'm still a little worried because Junko Enoshima also had a twin sister. Uh, okay. Uh, true, but... That reminds me. On top of that, Junko used her twin sister to run her killing game from behind the scenes. Oh. I mean, it's probably just a coincidence, but I thought I should mention it to you, Shuichi. Thank you. Y yes, thank you. This is the first time I'm hearing that Kaede has a twin. But is that relevant? It doesn't really matter, does it? Gopher Project participant list. 
Kaede had a twin? That doesn't seem right. Oh god. Seems like... Seems like their battle has gotten more intense. I wonder if we're going to be okay. Seems like this building is going to break soon. If I remember correctly... Kibo said he'd give us until dawn, but... But... But there's a chance that Monokuma would defeat Kibo before that, right? Okay. Either way, we should hurry. What should we do? What are you gonna do now? I'm... There's a place we should investigate. I found it right after the killing game started. But it's been closed this whole time. Right after the killing game started. <gasps> oh! Could it be? You mean... Okay. Yes. The hidden room in the back of the library. I knew it! With Kibo's help, I'm positive I can get inside. Certainly. Oh, you're right. I'll go with you. Friendship power three! Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Now then, let's go. Fare thee well, Kaito's lab. Oh my god, we're getting so close to the limit, but I gotta keep running! Okay. Run, 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 run! Okay. Okay. So now I just gotta make it to the other side. Fuck! Get out of my way! You fool. Okay. Yeah. Well, Kaede's power is coursing through me. Being exit all down here. Don't let there be an exit all down here. Let me in! Shit. Okay, just calmly get in here. Okay, good, good, good. Maki! 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 <laughs> I knew you would come here. If you're invest if you're reinvestigating old areas, you'd ha you'd have to come here eventually. Hey. But before you do, listen to what I have to say. Okay. Is this about the blueprints? Have you looked through all of them? Okay. Yes, I ha yeah I have. But something caught my eye that worried me. <sighs> Although I'm not sure how significant it is. What is it? Um. Hey, Maki. What was in those blueprints you were looking through? Okay. I found a design that worried me a little. It was drawn with too much detail. Uh, um... It looks like a vacuum. What a peculiar shape. Weirdo. It's a machine that sucks up bugs called the bug vac. Huh? A bug vac? Uh... Kokichi came up with the design, but I thought they weren't that there, that there weren't any bugs outside of Gonta's lab. No. I thought you mentioned it. Didn't Gonta mention how he thought he saw bugs outside? Oh! That goes of tiny bugs! Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Yeah, going to think that before, but... When walking out in court... in courtyard, going to think he saw an easy tiny bug. But bugs so tiny, even going to know could see it, and going to have 20.625 eyesight. So maybe going to just make mistake, but going to think... No, maybe going to just see things. Remember, Gonta was always seeing small bugs. But, but Gonta said he was just seeing things. Oh yeah. Maybe Kokichi asked Miu to invent that to see for himself. Huh? So Miu actually made this. Okay. After I found this design, I went to Miu's research lab. Well. And I found a prototype that she was still working on. Hey. This is it. It may be a prototype, but it seems to be functional already. The suction function is act is already finished. Now she said that Maki flipped the switch on the machine and... It has pretty strong suction. 
With this, you can vacuum up all the bugs around you at once. Hmm. Nothing in it? Yeah. Looks like he was used several times, but it doesn't seem like they caught it. Monkey sighed and turned off the bug catcher. I see. Then does that mean there are no bugs? It was just going to his imagination after all? Okay. <laughs> That's probably the case. Well, even if there were bugs, I don't know how that could be a clue. Sure. But I wanted to tell you, especially since I spent a lot of time investigating it. Uh, okay. Right. Thank you. Are those bugs really just a goat's imagination? There must be more to it than that. Bug back! Oh. You guys were here? Mimiko! Uh. Yeah, if we're all gonna meet up, why didn't anyone tell me? Uh. I couldn't find anyone, so I was starting to get worried. Uh, um. uh sorry. Hey. And where were you up until now? Hey. You went to Rantaro's room, right? Did you find anything interesting? What is this expression? Um. Hey, Himiko, did you find anything in Rantaro's room? Shut up! I'm not gonna tell you! Stop asking me! Shut up! Leave me alone! Huh? <clears throat> huh? Why? <clears throat> if I say I didn't find anything, you're gonna decide I'm useless, aren't you? I won't let that happen. <clears throat> so, I guess you didn't find anything. It's okay. Don't worry, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. Oh god, Maki! What did you say? Th that's just as bad! If it wasn't if it isn't in Rantaro's room, then where is his survivor perk? We didn't find anything in Anna's body. Did he hide it somewhere before he died? But hiding it in your room would be the safest place for it. Did someone take it? What's wrong? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're right! Hey, we're going to check what's behind the hidden door, right? Let's hurry and do it! You're right. Y yeah, you're right. Hidden door is where Rantaro was investigating just before he died. There might be something in there that would be a valuable clue. First, I should inspect the hidden door. The hidden door was revealed when the bookcase swings open. This door has been locked this entire time. With Kibo's help, we might be able to open it. Um... That door can only be opened with the card key. There must be something here. Maybe the mastermind is hiding behind this hidden door. That's true. Then if we kill them, we can end this killing game. No. No, I told you we can't kill them. If we do that, we'd be the same. Huh? Huh? Oh, no! You guys have been doing whatever you feel like, huh? You can't just go anywhere you want without permission. Father will get mad. I don't like it when Father gets mad. So before he finds out about this, I'm gonna destroy you all! C could you not? Damn it! Everyone run! Damn! Ah, I can't move! Nice job, Kibo! Just stay put. For now. Nice! Ah. Kibo, you saved us! As a reward, I'll use my magic to turn you into a real boy! See. So you need me to open that door, right? Uh, okay. Yes, please. Hey! Are you ignoring me? Well, I guess there's nothing I can do since I need to charge my- Listen closely. Please stand back. It's dangerous to be too close. After that terse comment, Kibo aimed his rocket launcher at the door. Fuck! Damn, Kibo! <coughs> the hidden door is completely destroyed! Yes. The door is open. We can finally enter. The mastermind's hiding in there! No doubt about it! But... But is it okay just to go in there? What if we get attacked or something? It's okay. Then we'll just have to strike back. I... I would join you, but I need to hold off the exosols here. Well then... Suichi, Suichi, it's all up to you. Please catch the mastermind no matter what. Uh, okay. Okay, got it. The mastermind is in here. It certainly is possible. We should be careful. Let me in there! 
Then... All right, let's go. Well... I'll go in first. I'm the only one who can fight if anything happens. I guess. Oh, yeah, please. Led by Maki, we walked through the hidden door. All right, this thing's been bugging me this whole freaking game. What's in here? Secret ru- Uh... Hmm. Huh? Lots of hearts and roses and what the fuck? What the hell is that on the table? This is the hidden room? It's much bigger than I expected. Wait. This room's atmosphere. Seems like... Doesn't it remind you of the remnants of despair that admired Junko and Oshima? I knew it. The mastermind behind this killing game must be hiding in here. Yeah, where? Where's the mastermind hiding? <laughs> Here? Huh? Huh? What is it? Was that Monokuma's voice just now? Yahoo! Welcome to the final stage. Guess it's time for the final boss to make their debut. What? <clears throat> where? Where's that voice coming from? Good to ignore the final boss. I was prepared to offer you half the world if you joined me, but never mind. Kiss my ass, Monokuma. Hmm. There's something draped in fabric. It looks suspicious. I cautiously lifted up the fabric and... It's Monokuma's head, isn't it? Freaking mother Monokuma! Oh. A Monokuma head? Found me, or rather, you just found a place that you were meant to find. At any rate, you can't end the killing game. The killing game was born from the womb of despair. Starting with the killing game at Hope's Peak Academy created by the ultimate despair. <laughs> They're all connected. The killing game is despair itself. W what is this? Are you Monokuma? Hey, um... Of course! But I'm not just any Monokuma. <laughs> I'm the overseer of the killing game. And the source of all Monokumas. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for that reference. So I've been given a special name. Mother Kuma. Mother Kuma. Then... So then, the machine that makes spare Monokumas in this academy. Yeah? That's me. Here. You see this amazing machine behind me? It creates spare monokumas. All I gotta do is copy over my thoughts and... Yahoo! Presto! I give birth to myself. What is that? Huh? A spare monokuma? Can they be... Can they be made that easily? I thought they were advanced robots. No way! Uh, yeah. That's why I'm so amazing. No. No, that might be a lie. He's trying to trick us with fake information. That's true. Anyone can see this thing is giving too much information far too conveniently. No way! Huh? But it's not a lie! I can make spares really easily! That's true. Could you do that right now? Right? Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma! Huh? Huh? What's wrong? What? I can't birth a Monokuma for someone who doesn't love me! What about after it's born, huh? Did you think about that? Take her some responsibility! Whatever, just give birth to a Monokuma! Birth refused! No! I won't do it! I'm not gonna birth one for someone I don't like just because they tell me to! This is stupid. Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Hey! Are you listening? We said to give birth to a new Monokuma! Hey now! It's totally ignoring us. I wonder if the thing about the spares was a lie after all. A lie, huh? But why lie about that? There has to be some motivation to lie. Friggin' Mother Kuma! Hey. Hey, enough with this Monokuma. Let's hurry up and search this room. You're right. You're right. The mastermind is hiding in here somewhere. Hey, Shuichi. Shuichi, don't just stand around. Look for the mastermind. Uh, okay. Y yeah. That's right. First, we have to see if the mastermind is hiding here. There should be other clues here as well. 
like this bloody thing over here. Let me see it! A monopad, and there's blood on it. Why? Whose monopad is this? And why is there a blood stain on it? That's... I don't know, but we should inspect it closely. If this is a student handbook, the name of the owner should show up when it turns on. I started up the monopad and... Huh? This monopad is the survivor perk? That means in addition to the video, Rantaro survivor perk was this other monopad. N no. Is this a map of the Ultimate Academy? The places that open with the mysterious objects are labeled, too. As well as the hidden room. Which means this is a complete map of the Ultimate Academy for gifted juveniles. Hmm. So Rantaro was given this map as part of his survivor perk. That's why he knew about the hidden door. Hmm? What's this? A message? Clue to... A clue to end the killing game? What? The mastermind who is behind the killing game is hiding somewhere within the academy. Your best chance of exposing them is when Monokuma needs a spare. At that time, the mastermind will go to the library's hidden room. To prove this hint is accurate, I will predict something. The first thing you will remember is the ultimate hunt. Only share this information with people who you know you can trust. How you determine that will mean your life or your death. Rantaro Amali. A hint to yourself from yourself. That was part of the survivor perk. That's why Rantaro brought it up. Because he read this hint. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Even he didn't completely believe it, but he had no choice. That's why he went to the library. Hmm. That's what started all of this. Hmm. Huh. This is interesting, though. Because... This monopad has the entire map... Has the map of the entire Ultimate Academy. So... That means that... Monokuma made a comment about recycling life, which explains why he was able to revive the mono kids so the mono cubs so quickly. Are we? <sighs> I know I brought this up earlier about how I think we might be in the Neo World program, but what if it's a different variation of it? What if we are stuck in a, <sighs> I don't know, some sort of endless loop? Like, what if this game is like con on a constant reset by the mastermind? And the mastermind, basically, with just one set of students, if they had the power to completely reset everything after the killing game ends, you would end up having a completely different killing game each and every single time. Hmm. That monopad isn't the student handbook. It looks like something else. Well... But, is that a blood stain? Whose blood is this? That's... I was going to check that. If I can determine whose blood this is, we'll be that much closer to the truth. Hmm. How are you going to check? That's... The camera Kaede and I set up here. We can deduce it from the pictures. I see. That picture is in Kokichi's room. That's right. That punk gathered evidence from the Pope past cases just so he could... I bet he collected that picture, too. By the way... So which one do you need? There were several pictures, right? That's... The last picture taken of Rantaro. The one in which he was trying to remove the camera. I see. The one where the camera lured him with the flash? Okay. Got it. I'll go retrieve it, so I'll let you handle this area. But... Maki, be careful, okay? Keep on the Exosols are fighting. Hey. Hey, who do you think I am? Do you want to die? Ah. Uh... Oh my god. I finally reached the point where I can tell that was just a joke. Aww. 
This is a trash can. That's true. I should investigate this too. I'm positive there's some clue here. I open the trash can casually and huh? uh, I let out a surprised gasp. Huh? What is this? This thing in the trash can is much heavier than I thought. Why? A shot put ball. Why is this here? But there's no blood on this shot. It can't be the one that Kaida used to kill Rentaro. Hmm. In that case, where did this come from? Why is this here? Ah! Oh. Oh, this is... I noticed something sticking to the shot put ball. <clears throat> uh, um... Some cloth fibers from something? Inspecting it closely, I can see several pink fibers are t stuck to the surface of the shot. They're pink. Wait, that means... The shot... <clears throat> I understand. I know how to pin down the mastermind of this killing game. Pink fibers. Huh. <sighs> huh. There's nothing else in here. And there's probably no doubt that the Mastermind came here. There should definitely be a clue. Let's check thoroughly. Where? Where's the Mastermind hiding? Please, Mother Kuma, may we ask you where the Mastermind is hiding? Wait, why? Why are you being so proper? Share info that important. It would make the killing game less exciting. Um. <clears throat> There's no doubt that this is the mastermind. Ma the <laughs> <laughs> I had a freaking stroke. There's no doubt that this is the mastermind's room. It's definitely for the remnants of despair. Yeah. Oh, is it that obvious? Well, when you're right, you're right. The one you're all looking for comes to this room quite often. Quite often. <laughs> but they're not stupid enough to let you guys catch them in the act. What did you then the mastermind isn't here? And if they come frequently, then... <laughs> I think my hint just finally dawned on Shuichi. Hint? Why? Why are you giving us hints? Do you want us to find the truth? Yeah? What if I do? As long as it makes the killing game more entertaining, anything goes! Well, that's... Even if that ends the killing game? Huh? Huh? End the killing game? Oh! You. Haven't I been saying it over and over again this whole time? Yahoo! The killing game is eternal. It doesn't matter what you do. This whole get this game will absolutely, positively never end. <laughs> the killing game was a symbol of despair. How can something so fun just end? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Oh, you don't need to fret over what it means. All meaning aside, it's the truth. <laughs> thing you guys can do is just accept that truth. <sighs> Close to the mastermind has been added to the truth bullet section of your mama pad. What? Birth one? Acknowledge the ones that are yours before you make me birth another one. Hmm. I wonder if what it said about spares was really true. Can I look at that thing? No, I guess not. <gasps> oh! Hello. We were finally able to get in thanks to the keybow destroying the hidden door. The only other way in was the key card. Card key. Of course, none of us have that, so we couldn't get in before. But it doesn't look like there is a card reader on the inside of the hidden door. I looked through the rubble thoroughly but didn't find anything like that, which means you don't need a card key to leave this room. In that case, Placing dust in that card reader wouldn't have mattered if they came out from this side. Huh. Alright, I've finished investigating everything I needed to. Yeah. yeah, what's going on? Can't find the mastermind anywhere. Aww. They weren't hiding here. Did you find things, Shuichi? Uh, um... I've inspected everything I've found, but I feel like there's still something hidden here. Uh-oh, oh. shit, here it comes again! Again? Another memory?
What? What? This is that. Hey, hey, Shuichi. Looks like you've finally woken up from a long sleep. Huh? What? Mo Monokuma. Huh? Although we're meeting for the first time, you already know me. <laughs> well, of course you know. I'm famous after all. Hope's Peak Academy's Killing Game was the most watched event in television history. Damn. Why is Monokuma here? It can't be! Hi, hello! Oh, but it can! This is where it all begins! A brand new killing game, courtesy of the Gopher Project! Huh? killing game? Well, now. Now then, from here things will proceed how they usually do. You'll all lose your memories and forget everything that's happened up to this point. The stakes of the Gopher Project, the hopes and dreams that humanity entrusted to you. Yeah. And you'll forget that you're the last 16 survivors of the human race, too. The bonds of trust you forged. Your disgusting promises of friendship. Oh, that's gonna go bye-bye when the killing game starts. It's no use. W what? Why are you doing this? There's no point in asking me questions. You're gonna forget everything anyway. Hey! Who's behind this? Who are you? Junko Enoshima is dead. And another... Like I said... There's no point. You'll just forget that, too. Damn it! Y you're lying. How could I ever forget this? Da -da -da -da! The blackout light! Huh? W what? Hey, um... The blackout light has the power to induce total memory loss. The light it emits stimulates the basal nuclei and the hippocampus. Hey. Wait a minute! No, no, no! Nope, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna use this light, then I'm gonna shove you all into lockers while you're unconscious. <laughs> <clears throat> And then the killing game will begin! I... remember... my final lost memory. It can't be! That was from just after we woke up from cold sleep. Uh, okay. Yes. A memory from right before the killing game began. We were each woken up by Monokuma and our memories were taken. And we were forced to do all this. This is... We were going to work together. We promised to become friends. Why you? Monokuma, I'll never forgive you. That's terrible. Me too. I'll absolutely never forgive him. You're right. I feel the same way. But right now, we need to investigate. Dawn is coming. <sighs> then leave things here to me. You go check the other places. Huh? What? You feel like there's still a mystery here, right, Shuichi? Then I'll find it for you. We're all trying to work together and find the truth, but I haven't found any clues yet. Okay. I need to recover my honor. But... Himiko, will you be okay by yourself? Cut it out. That's a stupid question. Right. Since I got that memory back, I'm now overwhelmed with anger. <laughs> with my skills, I'll catch the dastardly Monokuma and the Mastermind. You're right. I understand. Then I'll leave it to you, Himiko. Well, what? Wait, really? Are you seriously gonna leave it to me? All by myself? What should we do? If you're not confident enough to do it, then you don't need to force yourself. No. No, I'm okay. Since you believe in me, I need to give it my all. Okay. I'll find the clue. Even if it takes use of every last drop of my magic and it kills me. Hey, now. Don't say such unlucky things. It'll be okay. I'm just letting you guys know how determined I am. You guys should believe in me and go on ahead. <laughs> Thank you. That really makes me feel better, Himiko. What should we do? What should we do? With how little time is left, it's probably best to split up, right? That's true. Yes. We need to split up and check all of the labs one more time. If we missed a clue in any of them, it would most likely be that one. Oh, right! Got it! Let's go! Mm. Be careful. Okay. You too, Himiko. Which lab? Kokichi's? When we left the hidden room, we saw Kibo and the Exosol in a fierce battle. Fuck! Boom! Fuck! Uh. 
Chuichi. Are you alright? Are either of you injured? Uh, okay. I'm okay. What? The hidden door's been blocked by rubble. No. Himiko! The hidden door's been blocked by rubble. We can't get in or out. Could it be? Is Himiko trapped? Uh, okay. Uh, I think so. Kibo. Kibo, can you do something? Hmm. I can destroy the debris, but without knowing Himiko's status. Unfortunately. It could be dangerous for me to just recklessly attack it. Stop it! Then are you saying we should just leave her there? You can't! Th I couldn't do such a thing! We're friends! But... But I'm not strong enough to lift the debris. Then... Let's use the Exosol. Huh? What? What? Use the Exosol? How? That's impossible! We don't have any more of Mio's inventions and the Monocubs are in the Exosols! That's wrong! Exactly! We're going to get Monokuma and the Monocubs to do it! Incomprehensible! Monokuma and the Monocubs? Remember... They don't want this either. Their objective is to continue the killing game. Please wait. Are you suggesting that we surrender to them and continue the killing game? Stop! But Himiko's in danger. Rescuing her first should be our first... No. No. We're going to end this killing game. Um... What do you mean? Do you have a plan of some sort? Okay. Yes, I do. It just requires a little bit of detective work. We need to investigate some more. What? Huh? What about Himiko? That's... I'm worried about her, but we have to trust that she's okay right now. We trusted her when she said leave it to leave everything to her. If we just stand around here, we're not respecting her wishes. <sighs> okay. Himiko is the ultimate magician. I bet she'll use her magic to find a clue in that room that's just plain amazing. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure Himiko is okay. Mm. Um... If you're in search of clues, I would investigate the classroom on the second floor. Huh? Huh? Well... I caught a glimpse of something odd in there while battling the Exosol in the courtyard. Whatever clue you're looking for may be there. That's... Something up. Hey! Just hurry! You don't have much time! It's nearly dawn! I'll commit that to me And... Later. I'm worried about Himiko. Kibi... Kibo. Yeah. But you won't change the time limit, will you? Unfortunately... I can't keep evading the Exosol's attack beyond that time limit. If we don't settle this soon, I'll be destroyed. And if that happens, we'll lose the chance to destroy the Ultimate Academy. That would be the worst ending. No. It would be an ending of pure despair. Kibo. Hey! Sumugi, I'm going to the second floor. Yeah! I don't know if I, if I can get to all of them, but I'll do what I can. I'll see you later. This is stressful beyond words. With confident steps, Sumugi ran out to the library. Miko, just a little longer. Friendship power! You've increased your bond! Oh my god, I've gotta hurry, I'm running out of time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The time limit's almost up? It's on the second floor, gotta get to the freaking classroom. This is bullshit! <laughs> this room. I need to investigate the classroom in the back. <laughs> what the hell? Why are all the why are all the steps just what the fuck? Kibo said that he saw something odd while fighting in the courtyard. Should be able to see the entire courtyard from here. Okay. This must be what he was talking about. All right, let's see if I can find something. Damn! I used too much time. It's dawn already. What the? You took too long! Be careful, you don't have time to investigate everything. Only investigate what you need to. Okay. 
Oh, thank you, you gave me more time. The locker seems intact, but I don't think this is what Kibo was talking about. Uh... Really? I gotta use my skills to bash everything away. Hey! What is this desk? There's a keyboard floating above it. Is this connected to a computer? Hmm. <clears throat> this must be the something odd Kibo was talking about. When I touch the keyboard. The... Flashback huh? light... What the... Flashback light setup. Huh? Setup? Like settings? Seeking answers, I press the enter key. Hello, Game Master. Huh? Oh! Unlocking new memory. Do these settings create new flashback lights? To test my deduction, I selected one of the categories. This category is for unlocking new memories. It looks different than the others. Select the subject you wish to remember. So there are still some memories we haven't remembered yet. But if we can remember something new, that would definitely be a clue. All right. All right, let's try it. I wonder what kind of memory it is. I'll start with survivors. This is weird. Huh? The survivors on a different planet? What? Hmm? Select the subject you wish to remember. What does it mean by select? These are all memories we forgot. All of these should be true events. So why would you be able to select one? And these categories? There are several inconsistencies about the survivors. Do I have to select the correct one? That's true. I suppose I'll choose the survivors on a different planet. If that's true, there's more hope for us. Are you sure you wish to remember this memory? The symbol of hope, Hope Speak Academy. The worst incident in human history occurred. With the work of Future Foundation, the world was rebuilt. But falling meteorites caused an outbreak of an unknown virus. The Gover Project was then executed. 16, schools, 16 high schoolers survived. However, there were survivors on other planets. There were survivors in other ships similar to the Ark. I suppose I'm meant to select yes here. Uh, um... All right, I'll press it. Flashback light setup complete. Clunk. Huh? That sound. If I remember correctly, it came from the locker. Okay. If I remember correctly, the sound I heard definitely came from inside this locker. I'll open it. What? Ah! Uh, a flashback light! This is new. It just got here. Uh, um... Just as I suspected. You can make flashback lights with that desk. I don't know why it was hidden in a normal looking classroom, but there must be a switch hidden somewhere. Flipping that switch will cause this desk to activate. I'm sure Kibo saw all this when the room was destroyed. But what interests me is exactly how those flashback lights are made. There's only one truth. There should be only one true memory. But this clearly allows you to choose. Why? And there's no indication of which are real. Hmm. Is there more than one truth? What is the truth and what are the lies? Flashback light settings. Right at that moment, the class door suddenly burst open. Whoosh! Ah, there you are, Shuichi! Himiko! Himiko! Huh? The classroom changed back to normal. So when the door opens, the classroom reverts back to normal? I can assume that was done in order to obfuscate the room's purpose. 
The person operating all of this did not want us to see it. And if they're that cautious of us... Clues to the Mastermind has been updated. Hey, Suichi. I know what you're thinking, Suichi, but... Hey! Be happier that I survived! I was able to make a spectacular escape from that sealed room! Oh. Well, you're a witch. You're supposed to specialize in closed rooms, so... Uh, right. How did Himiko escape when the entrance was blocked by rubble? Tell me! Please. Um. Himiko, how'd you get out of the hidden room? Because... The hidden door in the library was destroyed. Uh, um... We were so worried about you. You were trapped in there. Eh? You don't understand how I escaped from there? Uh, okay. No? <laughs> mm, I see. You don't get it. It was magic. You don't know how I escaped. <laughs> then I shall tell you. I escaped from that sealed room with my magic. Um. Himiko, now is not the time for... Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Himiko, are you okay? That was a close one. I almost died. Remember. I told you, now's not the time. Then... Got it. I'll tell you. I definitely used my magic, but another thing that helped me escape that sealed room was the girls' bathroom on the first floor of the school building. The girls' bathroom? Huh? The bathroom? Hey, Suichi. Do you want to go there with me? Huh? Uh, huh? Stop it. I'm not inviting you to go to the bathroom with me. Don't start getting weird thoughts. I would never think of you that way. I swear that. No. Uh, no. I know that. The girls' bathroom on the first floor. What does that have to do with the hidden room? There doesn't appear to be any new clues other than the flashback light. You're right. All right. I'll head to the bathroom. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom. First floor girls' bathroom? Huh. Interesting. Don't mind me, just going on down. I should be relatively close to the bathroom, I think. There we go. Um, what is going on in this bathroom? Does it have something to do with the hidden room? Hmm. Once you go in, you'll understand. Seeing is believing. Follow me. Okay. Himiko gestured me closer and walked into the girls' bathroom. The girls' bathroom, huh? Yes, you'll finally know the truth. It's an emergency. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, now's not the time to be thinking about boys' and girls' bathrooms. All right, I'll do it. I repeated several excuses in my mind until I stepped into the girls' bathroom. What the? Um. What are we doing here, Himiko? Hmm. So, it's just like the killing game in Help Speak Academy. Huh? What do you mean? Okay. It's just like then, right? The hidden room and the bathroom are connected. Huh? The hidden room and the bathroom? Hey, Suichi. Look where the equipment is placed. Jeez, kind of on past killing games. That's typical of a remnant of despair. Utility closet? Uh, um... This looks like a normal closet, but I carefully placed my palm on the far wall of the closet. It's a fake door! Huh? A hidden passage? Hmm. Isn't it surprising? A hidden pathway deep within the bathroom. Now proceed through this pathway. Uh, okay. Y yeah, let's go. Hmm. I step through the false wall and into the hidden passageway. Whoa. Okay, this is borderline freaky as fuck. Huh? Yeah. It leads to the hidden room! The girls' bathroom and the hidden room and the library are connected. Then... The library isn't the only way to get in and out of the hidden room. 
hidden room had this secret passageway leading out of it. And that passageway connects to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. But this passageway... wasn't on Rantaro's survival perk map. This passway, passageway was hidden, even from him. A hidden passageway that only the Mastermind knows about. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. A passageway connected. A passageway connected to the girls' bathroom. Oh my god, is my theory about it being Samugi getting closer to being right? You're right. <clears throat> Once more, I shall reveal the secret behind my escape from the sealed room. Okay. Yes, please do. Hmm. Right after you guys left this room, there was a huge explosion and I got flipped over. When I came to my senses, it looked like this. Uh, um... I'm surprised you weren't hurt. You're right. Since I've been using my magic a lot lately, mm -hmm. magical backlash must have happened and the way got buried out in rubble. Even I, the wise and powerful Himiko, panicked a little bit when I saw I was trapped in here. Hey! What happened after that? I banged on the walls and the floor and yelled for help. Calmly and rationally, of course. I'm sure. Hmm. Then I happened to find that hidden pathway, and that's how I got out. Okay. Then I ran to Kibo and he told me you were in one of the classrooms on the second floor. So I rushed over. Hmm. I see. So that's what happened. I understand now. Hey. Well, was I useful? Huh? Uh, huh? Seems Himiko is still concerned about that. <clears throat> yes, you were greatly useful. Hey, Mother Kuma! Mother Kuma is lying on the ground, likely due to the explosion. Uh, um... Is it broken? Hi! Hello! I'm busted! Ah, oh, it's over. I can't go on. I can't birth Monokumas anymore. I wanted to birth more and more and more. Birth Monokumas, huh? Hey! Hey. Is it true that you can make spare monokumas? Yeah. The, uh, of course it's true. <laughs> Fine, since this is the end for me, I guess I'll say it. I have a built-in voice print authentication system. I can't birth monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. Designated person? Here. It's to ensure that my monokumas are birthed into a welcoming environment, you know? Hey. Wait a minute. This designated person. Do you mean the mastermind? Only the Mastermind's voice command will make you create a spare Monokuma? <laughs> that hint was on the house, so to speak. <laughs> oh, glory to the killing game! Hey! Hey! Hmm. It seems like it's really broken this time. That was an important clue. Monoku Mother Kuma creates spare Monokumas after receiving the Mastermind's voice command. I should probably get out of here. If the entrance to the bathroom were blocked by rubble, we'd be completely trapped. Um... Himiko, let's go. I have a good idea of what's going on here. Hey. Hmm? Something wrong? Hey. Just tell it to me straight, like a man. Huh? Tell you what? Hmm. The hidden pathway I found. Is it a useful clue? It's extremely useful. I want to be useful for my friends. But I can't help much investigations, can I? I couldn't find the mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> You're worried about that. Okay. Yumiko, not only were you useful, you may have cracked the case wide open. Ah. I see. Really? If I found such an amazing clue, that's proof I'm no ordinary person. <laughs> I'm terrified of my own magical power. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, she's... Oh god, she's too cute! How do I get out of here? Where's the door? Let me out! The passage, that passageway was a vital clue. In that it led us here. Nothing to check there. Oh, there's still stuff here? Uh... Uh... Rubble blocks the way into the library, so you have to go through the hidden passageway to get out of the hidden room. Then let me out! Thank you! I had to use the exit! Fuck! You wouldn't let me go through the damn door. 
Okay, let's get out of here. It's gonna look awkward with me and Himiko coming out of the bathroom like that. Hopefully nobody spots us. It would be very, very awkward. <clears throat> yeah, if we've come this far, we're safe. Now that I feel safe, I'm a little over it. Then... Uh, okay, I'll step outside. Blushing, I left the girl's bathroom as fast as I could. <laughs> um... OH GOD! <laughs> Fuck! What the hell were you doing in there? No, no, I swear, I wasn't doing anything! At that moment... Huh? Huh? Uh, uh. What are you doing? Why were you in the girls' bathroom? Maki! Maki, it's not what it looks like! I I'm just... Do you want to die? Uh. No, listen! There's a reason! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't do that when I'm doing my business! I can't relieve myself if you do that! Himiko's inside, and you were in there, Shuichi. Uh, um... Okay, this is all a huge misunderstanding. Sure, whatever. Well, I guess you went into the girls' bathroom without a reason. Okay, okay. I'll believe you. Thank you. Th thank you. Though it still seems like you want to murder me. By the way. Anyways, I found this. Ah. Ah, Antaro's picture. Thank you. I took the photograph from her and inspected it closely. Just as I thought. I sighed to myself looking over the picture. Everything was beginning to connect in my mind. I finally saw through all of the lies. Final picture of Antara has been added. The survivor perk was taken away from him by the mastermind. Oh. <sighs> With this I can fight. I can fight the mastermind behind this killing game. And I believe I can end it all. Hey. You look like you just realized something. Well... But what do you want to do now? It's almost done. This is bad. I don't even know the mastermind's identity or where they are. Leave it to me. It's okay. I have a plan. Can you two please go to get Sumugi? She should be in one of the labs. After that, I'd like everyone to gather in the courtyard. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. What's that mean? What do you mean? What are you planning on doing? That's... Stop the killing game, of course. Mm -hmm. But we haven't even found the mastermind. So how... I'm right already. We can talk about that later. We don't have much time left, so let's hurry and find Samugi. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. <clears throat> okay. I stood and watched Himiko and Maki go off to find Samugi. All right. All right. To the courtyard. But before I stop this killing game, I need to stop the destruction of the Ultimate Academy. Yes, we should probably... Uh, go get a hero. Uh... Oh, okay. I thought the game froze for a moment. When I stepped out into the courtyard, I yelled at the top of my voice. Kibo! Monokuma! Please stop fighting! We can solve this another way! One that's best for both of you! That's it! Please listen to me! My voice reverberated through the courtyard. And after a while... <clears throat> okay... It's almost dawn, like we agreed. Have you found what you were looking for? Are you ready to do what must be done, Shuichi? Either way, this is your last chance. I have no idea what's going on, but messing with this robot is starting to bore me, so... I guess I'll hear you out. So, what is this other way? One final class trial. A class trial? Call it! We're all gonna do a class trial, one last time. A class, class trial? trial? That's... What do you mean? Are you trying to continue the killing game? You... This is no time to mess around. I thought you were going to end it. No. I'm not messing around. That's wrong. This class trial will end the killing game. Huh? The class trial to end the killing game? 
As Kibo spoke, I saw Maki running over from the school building. What are you talking about? Hey, what do you mean we're going to do a class trial? You. Are you serious? It can't be. That's... Are you going to end the killing game? Okay. Everyone's here. Now let me say this. We need to stop fighting and have one more class trial. That's it. If we reveal the whole truth there, we can end this killing game. What are you saying? The killing game will end when the truth is exposed? Why would you say such a thing? That's... By the end of the class trial, that will be clear. <clears throat> Monokuma, you're the one who calls these class trials. All right. But not this time. This time, we choose to call a class trial. One to end them all. Why do we need to hold a class trial when no one has been killed? Well, it's fine. That's what I'd like to say, but I get it. What? What? Cause. My little shootout with this run-down robot hasn't been fun for a while now. <laughs> and I think it's pretty doing. interesting that you guys are on board with holding a class trial. <laughs> In fact, I welcome your initiative. This turn of events will make things very interesting. So even in these circumstances, you take the opportunity to make things interesting. That means that this killing game must be. However, if we're gonna hold a class trial, I'm gonna hold you guys responsible for it. Huh? Responsible. Because. It would be bad if we held a class trial that didn't reach a satisfying conclusion. In other words. In other words, if the trial doesn't go your way and ends without the truth being exposed, tell you the truth. then you will all be held responsible for staging such a disappointing class trial. Uh, okay. Of course. I don't doubt your resolve at all. But are the others okay with it too? The responsibility will be shared by all of you. What was that? The responsibility will be shared? But... We've been ready. That's true. I'll trust you. But if you screw this up, <laughs> I'll kill you before Monokuma can. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. You're right. You're right. There's no point in freaking out now. Hmm. I have friends I can trust. There's nothing to be scared of. <sighs> um, Kibo. Yeah, yeah. Also, if we're gonna do this class trial, you gotta take off all that fancy sci-fi gear. We can't risk you going berserk if the outcome isn't in your favor. See. Take off this gear? If I remove this ar these armaments now, I will lose my chance to destroy this academy. This is the last chance. The last chance to not let Monokuma win. Is this really all right? Um... Kibo, please believe me. I don't want Monokuma to win. We're going to win. Our hope is going to end this game of despair. But... Do you really think that ending awaits us? It sounds too good to be true, honestly. Okay. Yes, I do. That ending is hope for us. And we can't give up on hope. Um... Kibo, let's trust, let's trust Shuichi here. Hey. You don't want to die either, right? Right. We're all friends who can believe in each other, aren't we? Come on, dude, we maxed out our bond. I understand. Very well. I will remove my armaments. Let's hold this class trial. Thank you. Thank you, Kibo. <laughs> that is decided. All right. That's right. Our class trial. That's it. Our final battle. Our hope will defeat your despair. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Gross. Is he that confident he'll win? It's fine. It'll be okay. He's probably just bluffing. <laughs> Who can say? Well, if we're gonna do this class trial, we should hurry up and head to the trial grounds. Oh. However, I will have the Mono Cub strip that robot of his gear. Yeah. I know. You guys! Everyone else, please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment and head to the trial grounds. <laughs> I'll go on ahead and begin preparing. Mono Cubs, you take it from here. So... All right then, we're gonna take all this gear off of this robot. This? I'll finish it in seconds because I work like I eat, fast and sloppy. You shouldn't be proud of being sloppy. Everyone. I'll meet you guys there. Uh, okay. He yeah. Kiba walked back toward his lab with the exosols. Then we should go too. Don't tell me. I can't believe we're having another class trial. Why? I don't- I didn't think Monokuma would accept so easily. That was too easy. I can't help but feel a little strange. It's from that one thing! He probably agreed to stop- it to stop Kibo from destroying the academy. 
Still, it was almost too easy. Perhaps Monokuma simply expected this. But it was still much easier than I imagined it would be. No sense worrying about that now. We've come this far. We just have to do it. To end this killing game, we have to follow his rules one last time. And win this class trial. And let's do it. What is it? Maybe accepted it because he couldn't handle Kibo's destruction anymore? No, that can't be the reason. That's right. Even Kibo said it himself. He'd only be able to withstand the Exosol's attacks until dawn. What are you trying then, to pull? Then, why did Monokuma agree to this so easily? No. I can't say for sure, but we, can be, we can't be distracted by that. That's true. That's true. No matter what he's plotting. Hey. We're ready to end this killing game, right? That's it! Yes! With this class trial! We're having another class trial? But... But this will be the final one, right? Okay. Yes, that's right. This will be the final trial. I like how Maki had more dialogue. But... I wonder if Kibo is okay. I hope they don't do anything weird while they're disarming him. No. I'm sure they won't. If anything happened to Kibo right now, it wouldn't be a fair trial that Monokuma insists on. I see. Oh, I see. Then it's okay. The four of us and Kibo... Yeah. By combining the marks of our friendship, we can overcome this final class trial. Yeah. Holy shit, I have no idea how long I've been recording, but I might be able to split this up into two segments. I've been going for a while, Jesus. All right. The next time we come out of the trial grounds, it'll be over, right? We can win, right? Okay. Uh, of course. It's okay. It'll be okay. This class trial should be much so much so will be much easier than the others. What? Huh? Why? Because. Up until now, we had to find the culprits among the people in our group during the class trials. That's why we couldn't work together, even if we wanted to. But this time, it's different. I see. Ah, since there isn't a culprit among us, we can work together without many doubts. Ah. We're all going to be working together this time. I already feel more at ease. But I wish it had happened sooner. At the beginning, the, there were 16 of us. But now there's only four of us standing here, plus Kibo, who's coming later. Well... We're about to head to the last battle. Why are you so depressed? Sorry. Oh, sorry, you're right. Hmm. Hey, buddy! Hey, everyone! Thank you for waiting. Kibo! Hey! He got us a hoagie back! That was fast, Kibo. Hmm. His weapons have been removed. I suppose we don't have to worry about him attacking. What? Are you disappointed? Did you prefer your sci-fi gear after all? Well... No, it's not that. Everyone! I'm just... very sorry. Kibo bowed at the waist to us. <sighs> I, I acted recklessly and put you all in serious danger. Everyone! I I'm sorry. I I'm very, very sorry. W what? Huh? What's wrong? You're totally different from before when you were in battle mode. Um... Shuichi, you told me earlier not to give up hope. Uh, okay. Th that's right. I... I finally realized that you were right. My inner voice told me. Hmm. Your inner voice? I thought you said you couldn't hear it anymore. Well, I had the monocubs repair me in addition to removing my battle gear. And now, for some reason, I can hear my inner voice again. So he can hear it again after the repairs. But it looks like... His hair... It looks like an antenna. Does that mean it wasn't just decoration? And now that I think about it, what is his inner voice exactly? What does he hear? I, I was wrong to try to destroy everything just to avoid losing to despair. Even if I had followed through, there would have been no hope or future left afterward. In which case, my actions would have merely resulted in different despair altogether. I did not expect you to forgive me. What I did was foolish. Please. But will you allow me to fight alongside you? I want to help you find the truth. Please! I'm... Of course, Kibo. That's what I've wanted from the start. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have been able to do this. So, you'll allow me? Oh, you seem angry, Sumugi. Would you prefer I not help? I'm not mad, I'm just holding myself back. When someone says please that strongly, I always want to respond with, but I refuse. But I can read the mood here, so I'm holding back. Well, of course. It's fine. 
Yeah, I'm okay now. Of course you can fight with a Skeebo. There's a big wall between living things and objects, but you're our friend, Kibo. Everyone! Th thank you. Um, by the way, Maki, I've been meaning to ask you, but... What is that vacuum cleaner you're carrying? I see. It's the bug vac. I think Okichi designed it and had Miyu make it. I see. Ah, uh, yes. Gontet had mentioned something about tiny bugs before. Okay. Yes, I thought it could be a clue to something. But we can't seem to catch any bugs with it. It doesn't seem like there are any. So it really was just Gonta's imagination after all? No. Wait, it might not... <clears throat> it might be too soon to determine that. Can we wait until I've examined it with my eyes, at least? Your eyes. Um... What do you mean, Kibo? You. What good can your eyes do? It's not like you've got good eyesight, right? Yeah. That was true. Until I installed my zoom function. Huh? Your zoom function. Yes. It was in my lab, next to the jetpack and rocket launcher. Thanks to that zoom function, my vision has increased a hundredfold. Huh? A hundredfold? What did you say? That's a power-up that goes way past your default settings. But... This is the true talent of the ultimate robot. Because I'm a robot, I can evolve in ways that are simply not possible for a human. I've... finally accepted that. There are notable differences between us, but they're nothing for me to be ashamed of. I also... Because with my talent, it's possible that I can save you all. Kibo took the bug vac from Maki and... Leave it to me. It's worth a shot. At maximum zoom, my vision is on par with that of a microscope. Maki, I'll borrow this bug vac for a moment. He stared at it intensely. Oh my god, he's got a scouter! I'll print out this memory. Oh my god, there's a tiny bug in it! Just as before, Kibo printed a picture from right out of his mouth. He took it from his lips and handed it to me. Huh? Is this... Monokuma? Hey. Are these the small bugs Gonto was talking about? Yes. A human's eyes would not be able to see things that exist at a nanoscopic level. We're going to have noticed them. His vision really was superhuman. Hey. Hey, what are these things holding? Are they holding cameras? Well then. Why don't we ask them? Huh? We can talk to this? Leave it to me. Yes, I've already installed an augmented hearing function. What was that? I guess anything is possible. Start talking now. Or I'll squish you one by one. Hell yeah! Whatever function you serve, you'll be unable to carry it out. Do you accept these terms? Kibo asked in a way that made it clear it was not up for negotiation. They call themselves Nanokumas. Apparently they're members of the Monokas. Nanokumas? What? This little thing? Then there were actually six Monokas? Not quite. These don't exist as individuals but rather as a hive mind. They travel through the air in a swarm, covering every square inch of this campus. So it's not just one, it's a whole swarm of monocubs. If they're that small, they could have been in my nose or mouth, and I'd never know. Ew. I don't like the thought of that. Neither do I. And their function is to record footage of the events that are unfolding here and transmit it to Monokuma. What? Using their tiny cameras, they record footage and transmit it wirelessly. Mother Kuma receives the footage and parses it before sending it off to Monoku. You mean, like a security camera? Well then! They're so small that they can't be seen with the naked eye. They must be the security cameras. The sixth Monoku. So there were security cameras after all. Hey. And they've been recording the footage wirelessly. Kokichi was correct to use the electro bomb. That punk. When he used it, the nano cubs were unable to send any footage back to Monokuma. You're right. Yes. In that case, I doubt Monokuma knew the real culprit. Uh... Um. The more I learn, the more I wish that Kokichi had just worked with us normally. But. That's impossible. No matter how many times he reincarnates, he's a liar down to his soul. I would have never imaged that 6th Monokuma would be security cameras. That's how Monokuma was able to keep watch of this entire academy. 
He's toying with us. He's not just confident, he's sure he's going to win. I know that must be what he's thinking. Oh, yeah. At least we know that important detail now. I'm glad you told us before the class trial. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kibo. By the way. You're welcome, but we should get going now. That's true. Yeah. We don't know what Monokuma will do if we show up late. That's fine. You're right. Let's start heading to the trial grounds. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Haha, <laughs> you ain't got no arms. <clears throat> Not very grandiose now, is it? All right, let's go. There's no point in worrying anymore. Right now. We only need to think about getting out of here alive. <clears throat> and so we put the destroyed Ultimate Academy behind us, and head to the final trial grounds. Oh boy! Carrying the last of the survivors, the elevator brought us down. What could be waiting for the five of us? I'm sure this is the end of despair. At the beginning of our hope, everything ends here. Everything. The killing game of Hope Speak Academy, the killing game of Jabberwock Island, and the killing game of this ultimate academy. How much more until they're satisfied? This is the end of it. I'm tired of this. We're going to end it. We're going to end this cruel game. Class trial of the century achievement. <laughs> so this is the final trial grounds. <laughs> it's not up to you or me to decide whether or not this is the end. Huh? What do you mean? Well, well. More importantly, since you guys requested that we hold this class trial, I'm sure you won't mind allowing me to participate too, right? It'll be easier to argue if I do. That's true. True? I was going to have you participate this time, but I didn't think you'd volunteer. What is it? You seem confident. <laughs> with my magic. You're confident now, but I'm gonna turn your body into an omnibus with my magic. Actually. A an omnibus? Do you mean the vehicle or like a compilation book or? <laughs> Knock it off! I won't be provoked by your cheap tricks. Aww. Threats. Fuck. He seems really provoked. Yeah, but... If Pops is gonna participate, things are gonna get pretty damn interesting. Father! You can do it, Father! Got a rock hard rager! We'll cheer you on till our voices are hoarse and bleeding. Right, Mono Dam? That's wonderful. This is beautiful. How hmm? stupid. Cheer me on? You guys are totally participating, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> you kids have a pivotal role to play. What kind of dad would I be if I hogged the spotlight? And if you kids don't play a pivotal role, then what use are any of you? Um, a pivotal role? Can we really do that? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Don't worry. As a good parent, I will do my darndest to motivate you. Well now. With this button. Uh, what? What's that button for? It's a monocup detonator that I prepared to ensure my adorable kids do their best. D detonator? Yeah. Yep. With a push of this button, I'll detonate the bombs inside each of your bodies. So make sure you try really hard, or I'll start pressing this button. Got it? Hey. That's too far. Here. You know what they say. If your kids are cute, put a bomb inside of them. Freaking small bombs everywhere. What the shit? You stupid. That's not a real saying. I know you cute kids can do this. You just need the proper motivation. So no need to worry. Just make sure you all play pivotal roles, and that's all. Oh dear. How absurd. I knew it. You really are the worst. I'm the best at being the worst, don't you think so? <laughs> I tell ya, people can't get enough of my crude antics. Now then. All right, let's get started. Let's get this crude climax underway!
Well. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this video. But I know what, one thing I am going to do. I'm going to check my footage real quick. I've got a theory. This is my final chance to see if I was right about who the mastermind is. I've gotten a few clues. And I'm going to look back. And look at the hint. That Mana Mother Kuma gave me. I need to check just one little thing in the footage. And that's it. So if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this. I may have to split this up into two videos because, again, well, uh, I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the final class trial.